Welcome to today's episode of the Tech Me Show. Uh, today, as promised, I'm going to teach you how to, one, create a new virtual machine in Oracle uh, VirtualBox, uh, or the virtual manager as you see currently, um, where you can install a Windows, uh, Unix, Linux, or uh, OS X uh, with a little bit of tricks. Uh, but maybe one day we'll get into Hackintoshes, but today, or rather this week, uh, we're really trying to concentrate on security. We might not get it all done, but if I be quiet, we might get through with this episode uh, to install Backtrack. So now, let's go ahead and first uh, go ahead and select New. Uh, we'll go ahead and select Next on the new Virtual Machine Wizard. And now let's give it a name. Let's go ahead and call it... Mm, backtrack shall we uh, you can name it whatever you'd like but now you might be asking well what should I name it as that's a very good question uh, you know if you're gonna have multiple versions of let's say you bunt you it, it might be a good idea to have the version or revision numbers and what have you but again since we're gonna be concentrating on the latest of backtrack um, we're gonna just leave it as backtrack um, and again, for the purpose of this episode. Um, but let's go ahead now and select the operating system. Obviously, it's not Microsoft Windows. But just real quick so we could see, look at all the different additions you could install. And look, Windows 8 is there now. Awesome. So, uh, now let's go ahead and select operating system. Uh, we want to go ahead and select Linux. And now, right now, Ubuntu is selected. Now, I'm on a X, uh, well, I should just say 64-bit uh, processor. So I'm going to go ahead and select Ubuntu 64. Now, I know you might be saying, but we're not installing Ubuntu. Well, technically you are. So let's go ahead and select that. And go ahead and select Next. Now, Memory. Now, this is extremely important, especially because the things we're going to be using Backtrack with are going to conserve a lot of memory. Um, so, you know, we'll go ahead and change it. Instead of 512 megs, even though Linux could run on that, we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're going to crank this baby up to at least one gigabyte of RAM. That should be sufficient enough. Now, let's go ahead and select Next. Now, here is our startup disk. This is basically our virtual hard drive. Uh, like when you turn on your computer, whether laptop or desktop or basically any device that has one or multiple, there is a main hard drive or a hard drive that's partitioned in multiple uh, partitions. And the MBR master boot record uh, basically says, hey, there's this and then there's that, uh, which that MBR uh, loads either uh, in this case, I believe it will be Grub. But again, we don't need to really worry about that because we are doing a virtual hard disk and we're not partitioning it to have multiple um, operating systems on it. That's the cool part of using VirtualBox and having a uh, virtual hard disk. So, we're going to go ahead and create a new hard disk and select Next. And now you're here given a, a bunch of choices of... Um, what you want to do now for this uh, video we're just going to do a virtual uh, virtual box uh, disk image the VDI uh, I could get into the rest of them I'm not going to so let's go ahead and uh, select next now I can't stress enough do not choose fix go to dynamic because what if you don't you know necessarily use all of it or you might need more to repartition and tell your uh, OS that and depending on the OS it can have some issues uh, but let's just go ahead and select next um, now we're basically saying we want to have 8 gigs of uh, disk space I'm sorry but I'm gonna tell you to up it a little bit we're gonna go go to about uh, let's do an even 11 11.5 Oops, pardon me. You know, let's just do the 11. Um, so now that we have the 11, um, we're going to go ahead and select next. And again, location, backtrack, where you can select where you want to put it. So if you're going to have multiple uh, um, 
uh, virtual disks, you might even want a folder on it uh, to organize it. But now if we click up one level, you'll see VirtualBox is actually trying to be nice enough and uh, store them in the VirtualBox uh, uh, installation directory. So we're going to just go ahead and allow that. I'm going to click cancel. And then, uh, yeah, see? And it's a VDI. And you cannot choose anything otherwise. Uh, so let's go ahead and select cancel. And now we'll go ahead and select next. And here's the summary. This all looks good. We're creating an 11 gig, uh, uh, basically, hard drive. Uh, it's dynamic. Um, and we're using the VDI. And here's the source of where it's uh, going to be stored. Now let's go ahead and click create. And we'll go ahead and uh, create. And voila, now we basically have literally a virtual computer in our computer. Is that crazy or is that crazy?